And so question 11, the last question in the 2007 Higher Maths paper 2, the one you normally think, right, what little trap have they tried to set for you this time since you've managed to make it as far as the last question? As always, just take it a step at a time. Don't panic. Just have a look at it. Just take it one line at a time. One line will suggest the next line. What does it say? Find the value of A if A6 lies in the graph with that equation. Well, that's just a substitution. A6 lies in that simply means put 6 instead of Y and A instead of X. So that means I've got, just right the other way around, I've got 3 times 4 to the A equals, and if that part, that then comes to 6. Now it's just a case of, let's get rid of the bits and the pieces. We'll get rid of the 3 first of all. So 4 to the power A would be 6 divided by 3, which is 2. And the next part, since it's only worth the one mark, I'm not going to start using logs here, this can be answered by inspection. You're just saying, what power of 4 gives the answer 2? Well, 2 is the square root, so A must be a half. Now B, if negative half B also lies in the graph, find the value of B. Right, well, fair enough, just put that back in, same as before. So that says when X is negative a half, Y is going to be B. So Y is B. 3 times 4 and X is negative a half. This is just straightforward then because that's just a calculation. That's 3 times negative a half. A negative power means it's a reciprocal, it's underneath, and a half means it's a square root. 4 to the negative a half means 1 over, that's the negative part. And the half means the square root, so that's a half. That means that b equals 3 upon 2. Now, for part c, 4 marks now. A graph is drawn of log y, log 10 of y rather, against x. It says, show that this equation will be of this form, and expect it to be the form of log 10y, being the vertical variable, equals px plus q. So you're expecting this to be some straight line. You're expecting that to look something like this. Well, how would you arrive at that? Just start with this equation. Y equals 3 times 4 to the X. Now if it says it wants log 10 Y, I'll take log 10 of both sides. That way I've automatically got my log 10 Y. Unfortunately, I've got to do log 10 of the other side as well. 3 times 4 to the X. Well, you know your loss of logs. If you're multiplying, then that's the same as having added the logs of the factors in that multiplication. So that's the same as log 10, 3 plus log 10, 4 to the x. This logarithm can then be split up because if you've got a power as part of the number it's acting on, that can come out as a factor. So I've got log 10 of 3 plus x times log 10 of 4. Now it's just a case of rearranging that to a well-known phrase of say, phrase of saying, i.e. this one. So I've got log 10 of y equals, I want x to come second with something multiplying it. So that log 10, 4 is going to multiply it. And this log 10, 3 will just be on its own at the end. And there it is. That's in the form of a straight line. This would be the line where the gradient of this line is going to be the coefficient of x, which is log 10 of 4, and the vertical intercept is going to be at log 10, 3. But what does the question actually ask? So I'll say that's in the form whoops, log 10 y equals px plus q, where the gradient equals log 10, 4. That wasn't too bad after all.